More news now. Department of Justice denying Senate request to interview two top former FBI officials on the firing of former director James Comey, citing the ongoing investigation by the special counsel Robert Mueller. Meanwhile, the White House calling out former director Comey yet again on the leaked memos. Sarah Huckabee Sanders from yesterday when asked about it. The memos that uh, Comey leaked were created on an FBI computer while he was the director. He claims they were private property, but they clearly followed the protocol of an official FBI document. Leaking FBI memos on a sensitive case, regardless of classification, violates federal laws. I think that's pretty clean and clear uh, that that would be a violation. Well, South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy chairs the House Oversight Committee. My guest now, and sir, thank you for coming back here. Yes, sir. She essentially says he broke the law, did he? Well, Bill, if it's that clean and clear, I'm sure she's referred it to the Department of Justice. After all, President Trump handpicked Jeff Sessions to be his attorney general. So if the evidence is as clear as the press secretary says it is, I'm sure that matter is already in Jeff Sessions' office. Well, with regard to that, she said in quoting now, the Department of Justice has to look at any allegation of whether or not something's illegal or not. That's not up for me to decide. Uh, she's right do, about that. Do you know <laughs> if she referred it or not? I have no idea. I, Bill, this is what I do know. Uh, alleging criminal violations is very serious, which is why I don't do it. Press secretaries don't get to make that call. Members of Congress don't get to make that call. Reporters don't get to make that call. That's an executive branch function. After an investigation, a charging decision is made by a career prosecutor. So if you have evidence of a crime, uh, instead of sharing it with a gaggle of reporters, share it with the people who can actually do something about it. That would be my advice. Okay. She says the more she learns, the more her boss is vindicated. Do you see it that way? Um, I think that there were reasons to replace uh, James Comey as the FBI director. Um, I think it took this administration a long time to settle on those reasons, and some of the reasons they cited initially weren't all that good. Um, I, I've had my differences with Jim Comey. Um, he's gone now. We have a new FBI director. President Trump picked the person that he wanted. Um, I'm very interested in talking to, to Jim Comey, not about how he left the mm. FBI, but about some other decisions he made while he was the FBI director. Such as? Uh, well, if there's anything that's axiomatic in investigations is that you don't make up your mind until you interview the last witness. It is beyond dispute that he made up his mind not to charge Secretary Clinton before he interviewed her. Uh, there's no question about that. Uh, what my friends in the Senate have uncovered is he may well have made up his mind before he interviewed the last dozen witnesses. So how in the world my fellow citizens can have confidence in an investigation where you reached a conclusion before you even gathered all the facts mm. and all the evidence is stunning. Just one more thing on that. There's a report that suggests he started writing his report two months prior to announcing his decision. So that would not have been July of 2016, but rather May of 2016. Does that square with the information you have? Um, it, I, it, the Senate has information I don't have. I want to say that up front. I do have information but on the House side. You just referred to it as to drawing conclusions before you get to the interviewee or the entire investigation itself. Right. What I'm saying is there's sufficient factual basis to bring him in and ask him, when did you make up your mind that you were not going to charge Secretary Clinton? I can tell you because I've seen with my own eyes he made up his mind before he interviewed her. How far back, whether it was two weeks or two months, oh, quite frankly, done. Bill, is immaterial to me. He did it before he interviewed mm -hmm. the last witness. Okay. Uh, another story here quickly. Susan Rice, there's a report out there says that she apparently told House investigators, perhaps herself as well, that the reason she asked for the unmasking of Trump officials is because leaders from the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, were in the U.S. in December in that period between the election and inauguration period. And she believed that she needed to figure out why, because the White House was not notified. Were you there when she delivered that information? Is that information accurate? Uh, I was there. I was one of the three members on our side that was questioning uh, Ambassador Rice. Um, I don't want to get into the details of her testimony because, frankly, it's, it's not fair to highlight one part. She was there for two and a half hours. So to highlight one point and exclude the rest of them, I will tell you this. Um, unmaskings are, uh, are policy-centric. Um, it, it's not a question of whether or not that's a crime. It is definitely a crime to disseminate 
classified information. And I was really clear in asking her about that. Um, she stayed longer than she was supposed to stay. And Bill, I mean, I, I, I've been really tough on Susan Rice in the past. I think it's important that when a witness does a good job, you tell people she did a good job, and when she doesn't do a good job, okay. you tell them right. that Maybe too. I asked the she question, did a good job. She did a good job. So her answers were satisfactory to you then? Uh, to say that they're satisfactory, I have no reason to impeach them or contradict them, that there's a whole body of, of documents that I need to know whether or not what she said is corroborated or contradicted. I don't usually just go based on what someone said, particularly if they're documents that either refute it or corroborate it. Okay. Is this report true or not? Can you answer that? Which, which report? The About CNN the UAE, report? the leaders in the U.S., and that's the reason why she did what she did. True or I not. can tell you it's not inconsistent with her testimony. Whether or not that's true or not, um, Understood. I, I can't tell okay. you, but it's consistent with what she said. Got it. Trey Gowdy, thank you very much, sir. Yes, for sir. Coming thank back you. Here. You bet. Shannon yes, sir.